。好，第二到第四條呢，就係、是、有關一個實驗，就研究下一個過氧化輕酶嘅。咁啊，過氧化輕酶嘅功能呢，題目都俾咗你啦，加速返呢，去拆解一個雙氧水，從而啊放出氧氣。咁今次個實驗呢，就阿莊仔呢，咁佢就加咗一粒呢嘅豬潤呢，就落咗去一個五 mL 嘅雙氧水嗰水，跟住佢就再觀察有冇氣泡出現啦。然後啦，再用一個餘盡嘅木條呢，就去測試下嘅氣體。然後咧又重複下個實驗啦，咁啊用牛肉啊、薯仔啊、蘋果嗰啲。咁啊第一樣咧想去提下大家咧就係嗰啲 I V D V C V 啊。今次個 I V 咧就係我哋用啲乜嘢類型嘅組織啦，去嘗試下啦，有豬潤啦、牛肉啊嗰啲啦。而 D V 咧就係我哋去觀察嘅東西，咁啊觀察有冇放譜啦，觀察下啦放譜嘅速度啦，同埋觀察啦嗰個餘盡嘅木條咧有冇重現翻嘅。咁跟住咧就個 C V 喎，因為啦佢重複咗實驗啊嘛，啊例如啦我哋呢要用返同一個 size 嘅，一開波用一個 C M cube， 永遠其他呢都要用一個 C M cube 啦。大家都用五 m l 嘅雙氧水呢，就唔該大家呢 keep 住都係用同一樣嘅體積啦。咁啊呢三個 V 搞掂沙士啦，啊今次佢冇問你嘅。下次可能問你㗎啦，咁啊入題目咯喎，第二條呢就問返啦，成個實驗有咩嘅觀察啊？咁其實成條題目考我哋呢，就係要分得清乜嘢叫做觀察，乜嘢叫做推理啊？之前就成日同大家講㗎啦，大 red 嘅 observation。直接觀察咪見到啲乜嘢咪講乜嘢咯。今次我哋見得到嘅咧就係餘盡嘅木條啊，係會被重現啊。咁所以答案咧就已經出現咗啦，就係 C 啦。咁 option C 咧就係一個質化嘅觀察嚟嘅，就係、是、望到有冇重現，有重現定係冇重現就搞掂咗噶啦已經。咁但係 A、B、D 咧有啲體育精神啊，搞掂埋佢啦。其實咧佢哋係一啲推理出嚟嘅啫，根據個結果從而作出嘅一啲推理或者推論。咁佢哋當然啦係可以正確嘅，但係佢係推論啊嘛。佢唔係你眼見到嘅嘢嘛，你諗過㗎嘛，呢啲先叫做推理啊嘛。例如啦，我哋見得到呢嗰、那個餘盡嘅木條啊，係會被重現嘅，咁啊即係代表住啦，所釋放出嚟嘅氣體呢，佢哋就係氧氣啦。咁所以 B 啦，咪會有同學揀囉。咁由於啦，佢拆出嚟嘅氧氣啊嘛，題目都有講喎、啊。哦，原來咧呢、這個過氧化輕酶呢，係會將雙氧水拆成氧氣㗎喎、啊。喂，即係呢啲組織呢，係有過氧化輕酶啦，又啱喎。而至於啦，我哋放譜嘅速度呢，我哋真係明顯見到個豬潤牛肉呢，相比起薯仔同埋蘋果呢，放譜速度係快好多喎。咁咪即係啦，動物嘅組織呢，係會比起植物嘅組織多一啲嘅過氧化輕酶囉。A、B、D 嚟基於結果所作出嘅推論，佢唔係結果嘅本身，所以佢哋三個都係錯。Question two to four refer to the experiment on m c y c a t a l y s e which speed up the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide to release oxygen. And now, John, add one cm cube of the pig liver to the boiling tube containing five cm cube hydrogen peroxide solution. And then the observation will be that gas bubble were released, and he used the growing sprint to test the gas. And finally, he repeat the experiment with beef. Potato and apple tissues. So before we talk about the question, I would like to remind something. They are the IV, CV, and the DV. First of all, the IV. What we change? We change different tissues. The different tissues used will be the IV. And DV is what we observe. So what we are observing now, we are observing the release of the gas bubble, the rate of the gas bubble release, and the growing sprint we like or not. And for the CV control variable, it should be the factors we need to keep constant. So we need to use the same size of the tissue, one cm cube, and then for the same volume of the hydrogen peroxide solution, five mL. This question it doesn't ask you about the variables, but maybe next time it will ask. So for the question two, it's asking which of the following statement is an observation of the experiment. So the skills checking in this question is to distinguish observation from the inference or the deduction. So just like the questions we talked about before, for the direct conclusion of direct observation, we just describe what we see. What we observe will be fine. So we can see directly the growing sprint. It is with light. So that's why option C will be correct. The gas release with light the growing sprint, which is a qualitative observation that describes what happened in the growing sprint test. But why the options A, B, D they are wrong? Because they are the reason, the deduction or the inference from the observation. They are not the observation themselves. So the possible deduction is that the gas released from the tissues was oxygen because it can relight the growing sprint. So of course that's something we can see the observation, and then 
oh, what is the gas inside? Oxygen gas is a deduction. And then we base on the oxygen gas and then we can deduce another idea. Because the catalase, it can speed up the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide to release oxygen. So we can deduce that the tissue contain catalase. And for option D, we can observe the rate of the bubble release. So we can really see that the pig liver and the beef, they can release the bubble faster than the potato and apple. So and then we can deduce that animal tissues may have more catalase than the plant tissues. They are all the deduction and from the biological knowledge, they are all correct, but they are just not the observation of the experiments. So that's why ABD, they are wrong.